The Lord asks, Which of the three servants is truly devoted to me and loves me unconditionally? Trumpet call of God. November 27, 2012 From Yahushua HaMashiach, He who is called Jesus the Christ, our Lord and Savior. The word of the Lord spoken to Timothy, for those in men's fellowship and for all those who have ears to hear. My sons, I have something to say to you, says the Lord. Now listen closely as I speak to you this parable. There were three men who devoted their lives to God, three men who sought to serve the Lord their God in righteousness. The first went out feeding the poor and the hungry, doing all he could for the needy, as he was able. The second gave everything he had to those who asked with no thought to himself, until the day came when he had nothing more to give and he too had to ask. Yet the third did not go out, nor did he give to all who asked, but bowed down each day seeking the will of the Lord, wanting always to walk in the ways of his God. And though he stumbled often and remained comfortable, and wanted for nothing. The voice of the Lord spoke to him, and he did his best to obey the voice of the Lord each day and remained faithful in spite of his stumblings, fears, and doubts. Years passed by, and the three men continued in their walks, serving the Lord, each as they were able. Then the day came when each was presented with a new choice one which they had not faced before. To the first the Lord sent a prophet, saying, Thus says the Lord, Draw back now your hand from the needy, and no more go out to feed the poor and the hungry round about, but obey the word of my mouth and sound the trumpet. But he refused and went away in unbelief, appalled, by the word he had heard by the mouth of the prophet. The second man was faced with a similar choice. To him God sent the word of the Lord in a book. Yet because it was not found in his Bible, the man immediately rejected it and went his way in unbelief. Appalled by the word which had been given him in the name of the Lord, And to the third the Lord himself said, My son, the time has come for you to give up all you hold most dear, to let go of everything you own, to give up your very life for my purpose, to serve without constraint, to be greatly hated and persecuted for my name's sake. And with tears streaming down his cheeks, the servant said, Yes, Lord. Therefore, my sons, I ask you, of the three men, which one was truly devoted to me, though all did good and fruitful works in my sight? For indeed many are called, yet few are chosen, lo, few recognize me when I draw near. Thus, learning the lesson of obedience is far greater than witnessing a prophecy come to pass and much greater than receiving healing by a miracle, for obedience is born of love. For those who have no trust seek after signs, and those who remain in unbelief wait for miracles, and those whose requests are met while in unbelief will soon demand them, and those who receive a sign yet have no trust will only expect the more. Yet only those who love me without condition will remain faithful, 
and only those who truly know me will endure in times of trouble, says the Lord.